North Carolina could make major changes to how it grades its schools. A key question is whether it'll actually lead to schools getting the help they need to get better. Our cap reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us. Michael, you talked to the state superintendent about this. What does she want to change? She says the current system isn't working for a variety of reasons. And she says one of those problems is that the Department of Public Instruction doesn't even have the manpower or the authority to go into these low-performing schools and ensure they are making the changes to get back on track. School is just a stepping stone for you. While kids get grades just about every day, the school they attend gets one too. And the vast majority of educators will tell you that it needs to change. Superintendent of Public Instruction Catherine Truitt says a group spent about two years coming up with a new way to grade schools. We always joke that the only person who uses school performance grades right now are real estate agents. The way it works now, schools get a letter grade A through F that's 80% based on standardized test scores and 20% on growth. Truitt pointed to this data showing 30 2 percent of schools getting a D and 10 percent getting an F. She says that's higher than other states that grade similarly, even though test scores in North Carolina are just as good or better. She pitched lawmakers on a new plan that would give schools four grades in areas including academics, progress, readiness after high school, and opportunity, meaning areas like extracurriculars and addressing chronic absenteeism. We want to make sure that we have all the pieces in place so we can identify the exact supports that schools need. She says DPI currently does not have have the authority or manpower to go into all the low performing schools and ensure they're actually implementing plans to improve. It seems like a black hole. I hope this is not just about making educators and parents feel better rather than having student outcomes actually be better. I have not asked this body for money to support low performing schools to date and this is exactly why because we have to fix this. It's up to lawmakers whether to approve this change. The first year would be a pilot program that school districts would volunteer for. And after that, the superintendent says then they would have a better idea of how much money they would need and resources they would need to go into those schools to address various issues. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.